everyone. Welcome to another awesome day of FileMaker training. I'm Richard Carlton, creator of FMTrain.tv, where every day is a great day for FileMaker training. We broadcast every day at 1 o'clock this time. So it's 1 o'clock for us, but for you, it's probably some other time zone. For some of you, it's early in the morning. For some of you, it's like midnight. But you value the FileMaker, you know, the platform itself. The platform is really quite excellent. People always say, why do you train so much? And it's because well, two things. One, I learn things from you. Everyone thinks I'm here to teach, but mostly I'm just trying to learn it from everyone else. And in the process of me learning, uh, everyone else learns too. It's really exciting. So uh, the platform is amazing. I know it's been around for a billion years. I, 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 people say, well, you should change the name to Blue Blue Fire Fireflies or something, some non trademark name, but everyone knows what FileMaker is, and I think part of our job going forward is to educate people on the new and great things that it does. So we're excited to talk about that. So today is going to be kind of a weird opening Q and A day. Uh, we had some other questions that people posted to us. Sometimes the questions that people ask um, result in us scheduling whole live streams about them because it's a bigger conversation. So I'll outline that a little bit. Before we say this, this show is live. It's free. We do have to pay the bills. Margaret, we have to pay Margaret. Margaret does have all our time for free. And so as a result, if you want to support the channel and you're not currently a subscriber, purchase one of our training bundles here. It helps us keep the lights on. We greatly appreciate it. Pivoting forward, Margaret, to our questions that we have for people. So, so oh, cause this, butterflies this is that and bugs has a comment. What is it? Uh, this is going to be a schema question, looks like. Oh, no, not necessarily. Uh, I have a layout with records of company vehicles with the usual next previous buttons. I want to add a popover value list filtered for only active and road vehicles to use to go to that vehicle. So it's a portal. They have, they have a portal of vehicles and they Tried want to filter. portal value list. Of course, can't filter there, but I can't figure it out. This, I mean, this is one where you have to sit and play with this, but you have to set the filter up. I mean, we did this with Big Valley Aviation, right? So can I, Margaret, can you bring up Big Valley real quick and go to discrepancies? And then, because yes. we're actually have to update this portal anyway, because they want to add a couple things to it. So maybe we bring this one back. I don't think I can, I don't think I can rip this one open and explain it in 15 minutes without a pre-canned uh, demo, because I don't know exactly what would happen. But if you go to a work order and then pick a work order, it doesn't particularly matter so much. Okay, so we're on a work order here. See, that? See, there's a portal right here. Anyway, so you got this line here that most people can't probably see. That's your portal. And then right up here at the top are the filters that we can pop into. So Margaret's going to probably hit the plus button. And so what happens if we, it, we're showing all the records in the portal. Right, but then if we click on the uh, first one there, you can select show only the ones that are open, show the ones that are waiting for parts, right? And you could change that. And there are none that are waiting for parts in this one. Um, you could say, go down, Margaret, go down to one of those. Yeah, try one of those. Okay. So yeah, so you got completed. Just pick a different one. Okay, none are approved, waiting for parts. Are any of those in there? Okay. That's, oh, we didn't suck it for simple, simple workers. This is why I'm careful about doing this for all of you in real time because <laughs> I want to make sure it's all cooked up. But but what it's doing is it's it is what we end up having is the customer, the customer came back to me and said, Well, we wanted to be able to do this one, like over here on the left, right? They want this one, and then then they wanted this one too, right? Like open and waiting for parts or something like two different statuses, right? So there you go. There's an open and waiting for a review or something like that. Okay. So they want to be able to do that. Now they want to be able to specify whether it's an airframe log here or an engine log or discrepancy or all three. So that's another one that I, I've, got, I've got to add. So I have to figure out how to make that work. So we will probably do that, end up doing that work today for them. And then we will bring it back and, and bring it back for you if the folks show that. But that, can I confirm that this is what he's asking about? Can you email me that sample file back if you have it, Larry? Just for fun, I could look at that. Here's the thing. I created so many examples and so many examples, and I'm doing so much. I did a sample for Larry probably back around the first of the year, I think, loosely in my brain, and I, or maybe it was last year, and I don't remember when it was, but it was solved some problem he had. Yeah, once again, I remember doing it. I remember vaguely that it had to do with some basic scripting and stuff and then having a dynamic value list. But that was different because this is the value list that we know. We're trying to – can I confirm with butterflies and bugs? Someone took someone. Uh, the records are not in the portal is what they said. But they want them in the portal? 
I don't know. I need to. Uh, butterflies and bugs. There's a related record. Or, uh, there is a related portal below on layout that shows fuel and maintenance records related to the related record above. I want to go straight to a vehicle which shows all details of the vehicles. Well, then you would. You they want to go to straight to the detail of that vehicle. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, I yeah, I I kind of need to see it, Margaret. I don't know if we want to have a quick zoom with them or something see what they're up to but uh, many times people are confused like that i want to understand it because can we get more of a complete description then we'll build a little thing about that and talk about that yeah get... send us butterflies and bugs send us an email please with a more complete description and we will give you an answer and screenshots and, and then yes. we'll, we'll and, and i reserve the right to turn into a training session which would be good hey, listen here's the thing why i encourage you to ask questions if you're having the question there's probably at least 100 other people with that exact same question and so my job is to encourage you folks to ask questions send the question to support rc consulting take a screenshot send the sample file if you want if you trust us if you don't whatever but send us what you can we can understand it and even if you think it's you know you're feeling embarrassed by it please don't Please don't feel that way because there's things that some of my senior staff do that I'm like, wow, it's just amazing. And it's like too much for me to handle. Right. It's like really deep. That's why sometimes we bring in really deep people into the conversation here. And then people like me are like, that's a little much overwhelming. That butterflies and bugs says that they will send it. So that'd be great. That's how we make great training. I don't make up the training. I'll, we don't always do great training. It's real simple. I just listen to what you say. That's all we do. <laughs> it's that simple. I listen to what you say. So Claire goes, well, how do you know people will like this or won't like this? I said, dude, they tell me on the TV show. They tell me. So You have a good day. I'm going to it, or good eat a good weekend, actually. Bye, everybody. Have a good one. up here who uh, may be a biomaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the biomaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir, 